Hello everybody and welcome back. I just wanted to start this video off by saying thank you so much for the amazing turnout on my last video. Final Fantasy is something I grew up with and anytime there's a new title, I jump on it immediately. And I really appreciate that everybody in our community and the fans I've gotten so far were there to celebrate the new game with me. I'm incredibly interested to find out what's going on with Clive. The end of the last episode was absolutely haunting. I can only imagine things are going to get crazier. It's Final Fantasy. They always do. So without further ado, let's start the episode. Welcome back. Sorry. What's our situation? Let's just say Shiva and Titan's little spat hasn't made things any easier. Yeah, it's a little painful reminder. And? It's as you thought. The Crusaders have sounded the retreat. Then we follow. We're down a man, Sergeant. If we return without Shiva's head, our fate will be no different from Beast's. I'll take my chances with the Iron Blood. At least then I might die fighting. After you do, that is. All of their brands no seem the same. Not today. Then it's settled. No dying. Now, if you don't mind, we have an army to chase. So it doesn't seem to be any ranking Whoa. among the slaves. I guess it's just their military rank then. The iconic abilities Scarlet Cyclone and Heat Wave for the Phoenix are now available for acquisition and upgrade on the a Abilities tab in the main menu. Do not forget that once acquired, new abilities must be equipped on the Gear and Icons tab. How Good. do they expect us to kill something that can do this? They don't. Only the girl holding its leash. All right, so something I realized I didn't do in the first episode was actually go into the active time lore, which holds a crap ton of information. So we're just gonna review. The Nisa Defile, a deep arid valley located in the eastern part of the Dalmechian Republic. During the Battle of the Twin Realms in 865, it was the site of repeated skirmishes as the Iron Kingdom attempted to make incursions into the Dal Dalmechian territory. Branded Soldier. Bearers forced to fight for the nations that enslave them, able to cast powerful magics, yet entirely disposable. They are often placed on the front lines in battle, or assigned to highly dangerous scouting or assassination missions. The Bastards A unit of Imperial Army assassins tasked with taking the head of the Iron King's dominant, Warden of Ice, the vessel of the icon Shiva. All of its members, including the leader Tiamat, are bearers. Branded men pressed into servitude for their ability to wield magic. Titan. The Warden of Earth, of whom Hugo Kupka is the current dominant. He takes the form of a stone-skinned giant whose granite fists shake the earth with every mighty pummel. Titan's dominant awakens among the people of the Dalmechian deserts, the recipient of this strength being granted great power and status by the Republic in return for a commitment to protect the nation in times of war. Shiva. The Warden of Ice, whose appearance on the battlefield makes her enemy's blood run cold. The Iron Blood sent Shiva against the Republican forces in the Nisa, Nisa Defile, where she dueled against Titan, the Icon of Earth, Wyvern. A slave soldier for the Holy Empire of Sandbrack. Sandbrick. Now in his 13th year of servitude, though drafted as a frontline instrument, the magical might granted him by the 
blessing of the Phoenix quickly saw him promoted to an elite squadron of assassins, where he was assigned the moniker by which he is now known. Their latest mission to descend into the Nisa Defile, where bloody battle rages between the Iron Kingdom and the Republic of Dalmechia to take the head of Shiva's dominant. Got it. Now we're caught up. Let's keep going. Stone skin tonic. Nice. All the old trails are gone. It'll be hell finding a way out. Do you think a retreating army and their dominant will fare any better? Let's see if we got a lore update. We did not. Let's keep going. By the flames. The sound of the ice melting is crazy. It's not where I'm supposed to be going, but it doesn't mean there's nothing there. Just in case. You never know. Because I am a loot goblin, I will admit that fully. has knocked the fight out of our iron blood friends where are the rest of them that can't be the main host wait our fortunes have turned sergeant it's her the dominant are you certain the crystalline orthodox is a backwards faith for a backwards people in the iron kingdom they teach that dominance are unclean aberrations born of blackest sin. Oof. Only their priests are allowed to perform the rites of priming. And I see many. We end this quickly. Time for some bloodshed. I like that they have different languages. Is that his sister? Jada! Must be Isla. <coughs> Hold on. The Iron Crusade dominant. We'll read those in a minute. <laughs> what alvation now came? Alad Scully. No. Ah, 
jeez. Okay, I guess I can't interrupt. How much fire actually does? Wait, 200 against cheap? All right, I expected more. Jeez. That's not good. Dagger. I assume is being in full form. Dancing, dancing. No, oh, I hate missing that attack.
right, so we have our first uh, near-death experience. Jeez. No, this is this is not a game you can just go in hacking and slashing and and you'll win <laughs> at all. Frozen tears. And as she fought, she shed tears of ice, which shattered on the blood-stained earth below. Used in crafting. Okay. There's crafting. I'm happy to hear that. she dead? I don't think so. Well? What are you waiting for? Knew it. No. No, that's... Not you. Not here. Oh, I'll bloody do it then. I'm surprised Clive didn't do it first. Fuck. Well, he wasn't around long. We've got company, Wyvern. No shit. Get your ass over here and help me with these bastards! I'm sorry, Jill. Is she dead? No. With you, Wyvern! Dominant. I know her. Know her? Look around you! Do you think any of these animals care? I need you here! We're just gonna have to kill him. I, I can't. I won't. You would betray the Holy Empire? Betray? I don't recall ever pledging allegiance to your emperor. That's what I thought. <laughs> my service may have been bought with this brand, but not my loyalty. I just fight to survive. And you think I don't? Right. The Empire will have our heads if we return empty handed. So if you won't take hers, I'll have to take yours. I told you, Sergeant. I'm not dying here today. And neither is she. Let's find out. <clears throat> oh. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> Beautiful. Not this time. the front lines who trained you who gave you a name when you had none you speak as if we don't bear the same brand son 
Right, I've button. always had a name, and I've not forgotten it. Still clinging to the past like a torn blanket. Then you will die, as you should have 13 years ago. <laughs> I gotta... Yeah, I gotta get those in. Oh, wow, what? Did I miss? Okay. There we go. There we go. Bested. But not killed. Ding again? He only made three levels in the past 13 years? Come on now. We're right and meteorite. Crafting. Crafting. Okay. Crafting materials. Gotta love them. that judgment bolt. Take long. Now, where's Biggs and Wedge? Fuck. Fuck. Well, Sid didn't look like an Imperial. Must be the mercenary Hugo group. Dear, my proud desert lion. With that you had taken care when chasing the hare. I expected more from the mighty Titan. You put the Ice Queen on her back. 
no doubt. But you'll have to work harder if you're to claim this price. My lady, the thunder. We'll be hearing more soon enough. Gather the men. We have work to do. If she doesn't like Sid, then we probably like Sid. <laughs> Jill. Is it really you? Who's this fine hound I see before me? That's fine your hound, hound who right? saved your life. That's who. Torgal. Hey. His name is Torgal. You two acquainted? Well then, you won't mind taking him off my hands. Funny. I'd always pictured you as more of the chocobo type. Clive Rosfield. Oh. Come now. Fleet as flame, fierce as a wildfire. That there was the blessing of the Phoenix. I'd heard is rumors that he'd survived. But I never paid them much heed. <laughs> Calm down. I didn't come all this way for your handsome mug. Now her, on the other hand, she seemed worth muddying my boots for. None the worse for wear. Still might be best to get a second opinion. Back her up. <laughs> I mean it. Well, I'm not about to leave her here. Not one with a warm bed waiting. It's all right. You're welcome to join us. You do want to help her, don't you? Uh, Sid, if we aren't back soon, none will have our heads. <laughs> I'll explain everything once we're back at the hideaway. Come on. I wonder if there's any way for him to remove his brand. Or you could just wear a helmet. But that probably won't happen. <laughs> He's too pretty. You must always see his face. here the hideaway me and then locations of which I cannot see the name hmm what's all this is that a giant hole in the ground okay uh, volcano maybe what else we got as far as I can go. Oh, kind of. Yeah, it looks like I'm limited to just looking at this island or continent. Probably continent, right? And this is where we're from, I th think. Yeah. Okay, see if we have any new points to look at, actually, in our book. 
I can't do that while here. Okay. Well, we gotta go to the highway then. Nope, can't do that now. Central Storm. The Deadlands. Not much further now. But we're in the middle of the Deadlands. Keen eye, you. The blight sucked this place dry. Meaning no trees, no birds, and no magic. But it also means no neighbors. The last place anyone would think to look. Home sweet home. Oh, that's nice. <gasps> Mughal. This place. These are fallen ruins. Well, we didn't think they'd mind. And it keeps the black from our lungs. But how do you survive without magic? How does anyone? Hard work and a bit of nerf. You must be starving. We grow them here, believe it or not. Hmm, suit yourself. You're back. Ah, tell you. And this is the dominant. How cold since we found her. I was hoping you might give her a look over. All right. Goots, get her upstairs. Goots. Well, none will... Don't fret about Karen. I've taken care of her fee. All of it. She's the best healer this side of the belt. You've nothing to worry about. Go on. Have a look around. I'll be in my solo. Okay. By pressing the... Touchpad opens a detailed map of your current area. Main scenario destinations are marked with a rune. Okay. Let's see. Sidolfus Telamon. Cornered by a battalion of Iron Kingdom Crusaders in the depths of the Nisa of Defile, Clive thought his end was nigh. Until Sid appeared and spirited him and Jill away to a secret hideaway in the Deadlands. Sid's hideaway. A refuge hidden in the blighted lands of Central Storm, from which Sid operates his secretive community of freed, bearer, freed bearers. While survival in the Deadlands is widely considered impossible, a combination of near indestructible fallen ruins and considerably and considerable ingenuity have led to an establishment to the establishment of a safe haven where those who rally to their leader's cause are only just about able to eke out an albeit meager existence. Tardia. Resident physiker of Sid's hideaway. Tardia is an, is an expert in all manner of medicines and medical interventions. Skills that are indispensable in their deadland home where they cannot call on healing magics. After Sid brings an unconscious Jill back to the hideaway from the expedition to the Nisa Defile, she is placed into Tarya's care. The Fallen, an ancient yet highly advanced civilization whose relics can be found across the length and breadth of Vil Velisthia. The material from which these relics are constructed is far sturdier than steel and cannot be worked by modern methods, so the people of the modern day have elected to build inside and around them instead. Barren wastes bereft of ether where no life stirs and magic is all but unstable. 
where both earth and water are stained black, prevented by preventing any seed from quickening. In recent years, the blight has spread even more widely, displacing whole nations before it, driving once peaceable fauna to violent desperation and leaving silent devastation in its wake. Ancient civilization, you say? Does this look familiar? Um... Somewhat. I think it's a little too early to uh, draw a conclusion whether or not this game is related to Ivalice. But, I mean, the chance is always there. You seem busy. Yeah. It's okay. Down. Ooh, what's down here? Uh, another newcomer. Goler? You mind the rules round here, or our next chat will be through the bars. Got it. This is the dungeon. Yep. Sure is. This side's clear. The washroom floor's all mended then. It'll hold. Is that where I went in? It is where I went in, I think. Yeah. That's where I came into this area. You reckon he's a soldier then? I was surprised if he wasn't. When he's not out chasing rumors, sits up there Seems in the hole. Seems like the tavern in a spoony bar. <laughs> <laughs> nice call back to four. He even looks like Edward. What do you think? I woke this morn inspired. <laughs> That's awesome. It doesn't sound fun. Wizened man. Okay. Doesn't seem like there's anybody else to talk to. Okay, wait, that's the objective, so wait, one second. Was this a offshoot? No. And was there other places to explore? No, it doesn't seem so. Wait, I lied. Chickens! Are they chickens or are they just mini chocobos? Let me see. Yeah, those are chickens. That's definitely a chicken. Who are you? Studious soul. Your brand. Lady Tyre might be able to see to that. Oh, that'd be nice. You may have been born a slave, but you're a free man now. Good. <coughs> Leave me be. Okay, then. Botanist. Sid once told me the blight doesn't kill the land, it only makes her forget who she once was. She'll eventually remember her purpose. All she needs is a little reminding. Hmm. Wonder if there's truth to that. Yeah, 
All right, it seems like I've exhausted all of the NPCs. Let's carry on. What's over here? Careful, you. I've spent the whole morning on these steps. Room welding, wielding bearer. Just go down to the end. Yes, it does. Okay. All right. I don't think I'll have any more detours. There we go. Just working on a pet project of mine. Though she's not above biting the hand that feeds her. I was hoping we might try and solve the mystery of poor Clive Rossfield, a bearer of the Sambrequa Imperial Army sent behind enemy lines. Sambrequa. With orders to wait until it turned into a brawl, then slit the dominant's throat in the chaos. I didn't know it was her. How could it be? And so, to save her neck, you slit your sergeants, then set your sights on the hills. Mm hmm. Conveniently forgetting how the Empire deals with deserters. Because with that on your chop, my friend, we both know you won't be getting far. You've fallen a long way, Lord Rossfield. of it said that I'm a poor host. What do you mean to do with her? Do with her? Why nothing? Her life is her own now. If I wanted to use her, do you think I'd be talking to you? All I want to do is help. Dominance like her, branded like you. Of course, the realm doesn't approve, which is why we live in a cave. <laughs> Makes sense. And it's also why we need help from Brandy who know one end of a sword from the other. What say you, Clive? Will you join us? Sid, was it? I trust that you'll do right by Jill. But until my brother is avenged, I must walk my own path. Avenged? My brother was murdered by a second dominant of fire. The Phoenix is evil to win. Oh, bugger me. Another rumor proven true. I only stand here today because of Joshua. Thirteen years I've waited for this chance. I've slept in filth, drunk from a gutter, killed more men than I can count. You're right. The Empire will not suffer a deserter. This will be my best opportunity. My last. So does he why not you join know? us? I told you I'm not interested, I know. He's a dominant? One of my scouts sent word there's a group of branded fugitives north of here, in the Imperial village of Lost Wing. Among them is one he believes to be a dominance of fire. Is he certain? What say we go and ask him? This doesn't mean I'm joining you. Let's make ready then. You'll find everything you need down in the main hall, as well as a few things you don't. Have fun. <laughs> okay. Let's see. 
second icon of fire. Fire aspected icon that first emerged in the year of the realm 860. When Imperial forces attacked the Rosarian stronghold of Phoenix Gate, clad in infernal flame, the Phoenix creature flung itself against the Phoenix, overpowering the icon with a strength and ferocity never seen before or since. person with the power to cast magics without a crystal in Valisthea. Men and women who awoken who awaken as bearers are enslaved. They are marked with a brand upon the cheek and used as tools, a cheaper alternative to the scarce and precious shards. This system of slavery has persisted for centuries and has become so ingrained in Valisthean life that few take pity upon the bearer's plight, seeing them as less than human. Got it. So it seems that Clive is the dominant of is a dominant of fire. Considering how the whole thing went down Careful with you. I spent the old morning on these steps. Um Joshua. But It seemed that Joshua had more control than Clive did. So I don't know how that works. Oh no! Gooch was it? Perhaps you can help. Gooch. Sid asked me to make ready for our mission. How does one go about that here? Uh, well, yeah. There's old Nan's place. Uh, oh, uh, on second thoughts, uh, you maybe want to see Blackthorn first. A blacksmith? Hmm. To the forge it is then. Oh, wait, no, hold up. You'll be needing this. Blackthorn won't take no notice of you otherwise. Might not anyway. <laughs> Uh, Continental Rum. Ah. So that's his means of payment. Are you Blackthorn? What if I am? I'm no time for idle chatter. I'm not here to talk. I'll be accompanying Sir to Lostwing and I need you to see to my equipment. You could be accompanying the goddess Grieger to our holy bedchamber for all I care. I'm not lifting a finger for you. Is that so? Give him the rum. Do you want that or not? I can take it back. No. Oh, damn you, Goots. All right, all right. No need to be hasty. <laughs> Let's have a look at you. <laughs> I doubt that lock has stay a Moogle's fart. <laughs> Bloody Imperials. They'd rather see their bear as dead than kid it out properly. I'll do what I can. As a favor to Goot's mind. I'll take it either way. The crafting of new gear as well as the upgrading of existing gear can be done at the blacksmith. As long as you have the recipe and the proper materials, select the highlighted item, a highlighted item from the list and hold X to craft or upgrade. Okay. Um, iron belt plus one. Is that my only options? Reinforceable items. Belt. Okay. Seems to be my only option. Equip the newly crafted item. Why not? And the belt sees a square. You want anything else? You bring your own materials. I'll bear that in mind. Okay. Thank you. Uh, a word of advice. Don't let Sid decide what's best for you. Notices. When something has changed in the hideaway, a notice will appear in the upper right hand corner of the screen. In addition, the stock updates for Karen's Toll and new forging recipes for the Black Hammer 
There are also notices for new quests, new missives, and many other things. A gill icon will also appear in game as well as on the local map to indicate recent updates. Maybe it's not a gill icon. Either way. I suppose I should think good. Okay. Well. So will it be? So I can upgrade the broadsword. I can upgrade the bracers. We're gonna go ahead and oh, we don't have enough wearite. Okay. We have plenty, plenty of that. Hold on, let's check. Um. Yeah, we'll do that. It last you a good while. At least we'll get something. I wonder if I should have saved for the broadsword. I don't know. And we'll find out. Make it quick. Let's see if he feels chatty. But I ain't the cook, am I? Look. Sid needed a smith, and I needed a smithy. Call it a marriage of convenience. Doesn't hurt that the forge here's the hottest this side of hell, and that is. And that it works without magic. I won't have no bearer suffering for me. You got anything needs repairing? Or retooling, you bring it here. Along with your own materials, and any scraps left over I keep. Alright. Nice. Off you go then. Don't want to keep Sid waiting. We're also supposed to go to old man's, right? Tell that blockhead I'm not paying for stuff I didn't ask for. Okay, I guess we can't go to old man. Go talk to Goot. The gift worked. You have my thanks. I uh, <laughs> come on. Nearly there. No, nobody recognized. You blankets, quick as you like. Making comfortable while a bed's made up. <laughs> well, you're just gonna stand there. Someone face some water. I'll get the bucket. You go and see if I don't needs out, eh? <laughs> Wait, me? <sighs> what the hell have I got myself into? Alrighty then. Curmudgeon. Who are they? Huh? They're freed Imperial bearers. Who the hell are you? <laughs> Shit, at this rate, he won't make it through the night. Think you can find your way up them stairs to the infirmary? We need tire. Well, go on. Shift your ass. <laughs> Alrighty, Is Ty the one looking after Jill? Yes. Your friend needs her rest. There'll be time for tearful reunions when she's recovered. I'm not here for Jill. You're wanted downstairs. There are injured bearers in need of attention. Well, why didn't you say so? <sighs> I did say so. He's going to be all right, but I'll need to examine them both in the infirmary. My work's just begun. An 
Another fine day at the hideaway. Do many of the bearers who come here arrive in this state? It's no easy thing, casting off your chains. By the time most pluck up the courage, they're already too far gone. These two here are the lucky ones. The name's Otto. You need anything? You ask me. Well, Otto, I do need some supplies. Do you now? Then Lady Karen over there will be more than happy to help you. Right. Oh. Okay. And thanks. Be seeing you. Not likely. I won't be staying. Is that right? Well, for as long as you are here, consider yourself welcome. You helped us today. And we won't forget it. Side quests unlocked. Keep an eye out for the green exclamation point icon above the heads of nearby NPCs. They, these indicate they have a quest to offer. A list of current and completed quests can be viewed on the journal tab in your main menu. To-do list. After accepting a quest, quest objectives will appear in the to-do list located on the right hand side of your screen. Objectives for the main scenario and up to three side quests can be displayed simultaneously. Any quest can be prioritized on the journal tab in the main menu by highlighting it and pressing X. Objectives are prioritized quests. Four prioritized quests will remain displayed in the to-do list until the quest is completed or another quest is given priority. Priority status for the quest can be removed by highlighting it and pressing X again. New Hideaway Features Following hideaway facilities are now available. The Thousand Tomes, an ever-growing compendium of all things Velistia. The Orchestri Orchestrion, a personal jukebox for songs collected throughout the game. Both are located in the hideaway's eatery, the Fat Chocobo, and can be found on a local map opened by the touchpad. Who are these people? Cool. Who's got the A? Is it the Spoony Bard? Do you think no. we should go and help? Don't think I haven't noticed you stealing sips from that pot. Kenneth Kitchenhead. Ah, a new face. And, dare I hope, a willing pair of hands. The fat Chocobo is a demanding mistress, and we are too few to keep her on her feet. Might I persuade you to deliver a meal or two to souls in need of sustenance? For your trouble, I can offer you the contents of my strong box and my enduring gratitude. Five hundred gil? Yeah, let's do that. I don't see why not. Marvelous. And who exactly do I have the honor of addressing? Clive. Delighted to make your acquaintance, Clive. I'm Kenneth, and mine are the weary shoulders upon which the weight of this fine establishment rests. Now, I have three hungry customers awaiting their victuals. Take these if you would, and be careful, they're hot. Okay. Oh, meal. How long has it been? Thank you, Clive. Now we have three hungry mouths in need of feeding, okay. so you'd best so be I can't say anything else to him. Jesus. All right. Your food. I was hoping it might be. Well, doesn't this look fine? Thank you, lad. You're new, aren't you? Kenneth's running you ragged already, I expect, the old rascal. Well, he did say he'd give me something for my trouble. <laughs> and so he should. We're not slaves anymore. Well met, lad, and keep up the good work. Do not think me lazy for waiting to be served like a lord. <laughs> Only my former master did not use me kindly, you see. He left me half lame, 
truth be told. Oof. That seed took me in nonetheless. <laughs> now, the hideaway is the home I never knew, and a mighty fine one at that. Lay off the man. You've got plenty to brood about. Uh, here we go. Well, well. There's so much more to farming than just seeds and soil. Uh, your food. Just a moment. I need to finish this. I won't be a burden. I'm of no use to anyone as I am, but maybe if I can master this. All right, but see that you eat it before it gets cold. Of course. Thank you. That's the last one. Eh? It's gonna go cold. I better let Kenneth know. Trust me. Catch me while I'm deep in a book. We'll very slowly eat that food. Yours is not a familiar face. Are you new to the hideaway, perchance? You could say that. Well then, allow me to welcome you. I am Harpocrates II Hyperboreus. That's, uh... <laughs> Quite a mouthful, I know. Which is why everyone here has taken to calling me simply Tomes. On account Makes of the sense. company I keep. And what varied company? I'm a collector, you see. Not of bijou and baubles, but of stories. The history and culture of these isles have ever been a source of endless fascination to me. But alas, my days of wandering the realm in search of new tales are far behind me. And so I've taken to sharing that which I've gathered with all who might listen. Perhaps you would care to listen. some new entries if you would like to see them the thousand tomes is a comprehensive compendium of the Lystian lore covering everything from basic terms to important persons geography and history new information is constantly added as Clive progresses through the story past active lore entries are also can also be viewed here I don't believe you've read this particular chapter before Okay. You wish to study the tomes? Later. Did you learn everything you needed? We've been away from the story too long. All done, I presume? Splendid. They were bearers. All three of them. Not slaves waiting upon their master's pleasure, but men waiting to be fed like equals. Indeed, equality is the very cornerstone upon which our little community is founded. Beyond these walls, we are scorned as slaves. Speaking only when spoken to, eating only what scraps our masters deign to give us. The first hot meal here is the first many will have known. In the hideaway, we are free. Truly free to speak as we please, when we please, and to eat what and when we desire. More than reason enough to trust in Sid's vision, wouldn't you say? Now, I promised you something for your trouble, did I not? The contents of my strongbox are yours to do with as you will. Thank you, Clive. Do come and visit me again, won't you? Well, I'm sure that's going to go a long way since we have to go to the shop. And Weirite is also nice. I should have waited. Countless treasure coffers lie across the realm, just waiting to be plundered. If you find one, don't hesitate to kick it open with X and reap the bounty. Go on, no one's looking. Badge of Metal. Next time you're in, first round's on the ass. Alright, we've talked to that guy. Wait. Do you think we should go and help? It sounds like a 
We got ourselves another side quest. I had they escape their masters. This whole place is full. Damn it. We'll be needing more wood. But if I step away to fetch any, this lot will be down around our ears. Ah, you there. Perfect timing. Couldn't persuade you to fetch me some timber, could I? Sure. Not gonna get any money out of it. I get something good out of I'd it, though. I'd be happy to. Oh, thank you. You'll be helping me and the hideaway both. Takes a lot of work to keep this place standing. <laughs> More than we can manage, if I'm honest. It certainly looks like you've got your hands full. Ah, you can say that again. The Fallen knew their craft, make no mistake. But not even their handiwork lasts forever. That's why the walls need shoring up. Can't have the uh, vegetable patch crushed before our first harvest now, can we? <laughs> No, I suppose not. All right, where can I find this wood? Ask over at the White Ads. They'll point you in the right direction. Thanks again. I really appreciate the help. Okay. Excuse me. The man working over by the garden sent me to fetch some wood. Ah, that'll be Jeffrey, Master Carpenter. Luck would have it, we've just finished cutting the timber he's after. You take as much as you need from the stack. Thank you. No, not at all. We appreciate the assistance. Easy peasy. Better get this to Jeffrey, was it? Oh, you're back. Hope fetching that wood wasn't too much trouble. Can't say it was. Will this be enough? Probably one of the easiest quests this we'll have in this game. Nicely, thank you. With a bit of luck, the walls won't be falling in on us just yet. That sounds ominous. Oh, it's not as bad as all that. And it's a damn sight better than the alternative. We're safe, we're warm, and we're hidden. What more could we ask for? Now stop fretting and take this. You've earned it. Welcome to the fold. There's no need to... That's not a matter of need, my friend. You're one of us now. Five experience. Oh, a meteorite and a gill bug. Can be traded for gill. Nice. I'm trying to think of where I've seen these bef structures before. Maybe Final Fantasy X? It's very possible it's not connected to anything. Or it's connected to everything. I need supplies for my journey to Lost Wing. Otto said you could provide them. What's that? Does the newcomer think it proper to make demands of a poor old matron before even introducing himself? <sighs> it's Clive. Well, Clive, I hear that dog is yours. 
Since he followed Sid home one night, I've seen to it that his chin's rubbed and his belly fed. Though I suppose that's your job now. Unless you lose him again. I won't. Not again. Thank you for watching him. So, were you gonna buy something? What? You didn't think I'd shower your lordship with my hard-won wares while you swagger about with a pocket full of gill? Life doesn't work that way, lad. Now, why is she spicy? Let's say some coin. Both consumable items and gear can be purchased at shops around Valistia. Shop stock changes as the story progresses, and so be sure to check it frequently. I have a broadsword. I have bracers. Hmm. That's steep. I don't know if I want to spend that much. I don't. Wait. Oh. I thought I already had a broadsword. I guess you know. not. You set the price, lady. Why you barely a guilty your name? You taking his side now? And after all I've done for you. All right. <laughs> All right, I can make an exception. But just this once, mind. My stores are getting cluttered and I need to make room for the next shipment. Thank you. Thank me? Thank your dog. That's a pretty doggo. Stone is now accessible. This customizable virtual battlescape provides Clive a safe location to test out new abilities and train it against all manner of enemies. Additional options will become available as Clive progresses through the story. Okay. Not as uh, off the wall as I thought it was. Hone your battle skills with customized training. Nah. 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 This option is locked. What option? Can I leave? Where's where's the How do I get out? Or do I have to do the training? No, that's not it. I guess I have to do the training. Hall of Virtue is a fully customizable battlescape that provides Clive a safe location to test out new abilities to train against all manner of enemies. Press the touchpad to open the training menu to adjust both enemy and ally parameters. Well... That's pretty nice. Is he gonna attack? Or does he just stand there? I think he just stands there. The target dummy. Yeah, seems that way. Well, that's nice. But I don't really want to do this right now. I want to know what's going on in the story. You all done? Mm, yep. 
I wasn't doing anything weird. Mm. Leaving already, are ya? It's you I'll miss the most, Lady Karen. It always is. Don't stop you going, does it? This should be fun. Right. Use the world mad map to instantly travel to previously unlocked locations. New locations are unlocked by pressing through the main story or discovering waypoints known as obelisks. The world map will open automatically upon leaving an area, but can also be accessed as at any time via the main menu. Cool. Make for the great wood. Hold on. Gear. I'm already wearing it, the broadsword. Yeah. And I'm already wearing the better armors. You need to shift. Can I change this? I can upgrade it. Maybe. No, doesn't look like it actually. Scarlet Cyclone. Been quickly quitting, creating a ring that burns all enemies in range. It has a higher stagger. I like that. Um. Oh wait, I already had both. Never mind. I did not realize. Okay, that's fine. Uh, we got a badge of metal. What does that do? Increases defense by ten. Yes. We're not going to use any of the timely pieces. Apparently, uh, the timely pieces are literally used to make the game easier for you um, in specific ways. And I don't want to do that. I want to experience the game at its difficulty. No holes barred. Make for the great wood. Oh, a chocolate! There's a good girl. Hungry, are you? Oh, we got some yellow ones. They're pretty. Is this, an, is this a wall? Oh, open the world map. Wait, no. Make for the great wood. Do I have to leave to do that? I think so. I don't have any icons back there. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Where's that? The Great Wood. So deep and vast is the Great Wood. It serves as a defensive barrier between the Crystal Belt and the Holy Empire, while its denizens deter foolhardy travelers from exploring the forest everlasting night. Alright. Snack. And we're back. Just had to scarf down some salami. Delicious. Oh, I have to hold it. <laughs> Silly me. The Holy Empire of San Brequa. Bastard blood flies everywhere. I told you we should have taken the Crystal Road. And I told you that we're outlaws. Well, you want every bounty hunter in Storm harrying us from here to the Holy Capital? Besides, what's wrong with a shortcut through nature's splendor? You know, the Deadlands claim more of the realm each day. But a place like this still exists as a miracle in itself. Blood flies and all. We'll be back in Imperial land soon. It's a fair point. You all right? Never better. Sounds like it. <laughs> that there is a fine hound. Soon took to hunting. Fearless as you like. It's good to have you back, Torgo. Now, we don't want to be caught in the forest after nightfall. 
I suppose not. Fanning Embers. Torgol has joined the party and will fight alongside Clive. Use the left directional pad button to toggle between item shortcuts and pet commands. The following three commands are available. Sick, Heal, and Ravage. I think they're all pretty uh, self-explanatory. The accessory known as the Ring of Timely Assistance removes the need to give, for giving Targol commands. When this item is equipped, Targol will attack and heal automatically based on the current battle situation. Nah. Did I mention there'd be deadly beasts? There'll be deadly beasts. Nothing a trained assassin can't handle, though. How reassuring. You're welcome for that and the shortcut. Ding, yet again. That's good. We still have a way to go. Two bloody hides. And a bunch of gill. You know what? We've got ability points to spend. Hold on. That's not the right button. Here we go. Attributes, right? Um that's the button. That's the button. Okay. We never got taunt. I don't think I'm worried about getting taunt just yet. Mastered. So I can't upgrade that any further. Uh, magic burst. Immediately after landing. No. Charged magic. That. That I would like to upgrade. I don't have enough points. And now it's mastered. Sweet. I don't have enough points to upgrade anything else. And I kind of want to save for an upgrade instead of just grabbing taunt right now. I think that's what we'll do. Whoa. That's a big boy. <laughs> in case you didn't know, there are armored lizards what in real life. Grieger's look name like is he doing this far south? Looking for food. No more walls where he's from. The north was one of the first parts of Storm to fall As a to matter the of fact, right here. Oh, sod. I'd invite him over for a cup of tea if I didn't think he'd eat the dog. Stay out of its path. Well, remember when I said there were deadly beasts? Well, the shrubs of these parts aren't much better. Any only thing to mention. Well, since there's so many, we're going to be bad. Nope. 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 See how good this is now. Very nice. Oh, wasn't close enough. 
That's the underground sorted. I'll take it from here. Easy enough. Oh, there we go. So it switches between a pet menu and the item menu. Got it. Okay. Let's keep that in mind, actually. I see an item. Why are we right? Okay, nice. Probably need that to upgrade our broadsword. Make sure I'm not leaving anything behind. The loot goblin in me hates missing things. So, all right. The ruins, they're everywhere, aren't they? Some say there was a time they blocked out the stars. Down so was the only way left for them to go. There's probably a lesson to be learned from that. But it can wait. Come on. Mind your head. Item. Two sharp fangs. Whoa. What happened there? Okay. I guess we hopped down. Alright. See anything that way. What are you looking at? Oh. Hello. A white dragon apes. I can see that. Okay. Doesn't happen to be a friend of yours, does it? Oh, wait. Nope. <laughs> You know what to do, boy. Don't let them get away. Get him, Dougie. Good job. Get the boy, boy. Wait. Why does a stagger stagger bar go down the other direction? That's kind of weird. Doggo gives a hot. Nice. We oh, I didn't have that charged. Okay. There we go. Perry, nice. Get him. Keep your distance, boy. Oh, too bad. Could have been worse. 500 gel. I'll take it. Dragon Talon. Two and more sharp fangs. Good. Must be a nest nearby. Keep your eyes open. So there's gonna be more. Got it. Can you heal out of combat? No. All right. That's all ready. Okay. New item. Ocean. Well, it appears we won't be going this way. No, I'm kind of hopeful it's another potion. Steel skin. That'll work too. I'll admit I hadn't counted on that. 
Wait. Where are you going? What is it, boy? At least one of us knows. Why trust in your own instincts when you now have an actual animal at your side? If you are lost, hold down L3 and let Torgal, Torgal, point you in the right direction. These woods. Thank you, Torgal. Oh, hold on. There's a thing over here. Magic ash. Well, this is where he said to go. Two sharp fangs. Oh. Well, they'll dance you, I think. And for once, it's not my fault. Yes! See anything? <sighs> Two bloody heights. Probably more fights in here. Oh. This big fella. This is gonna hurt. So sharp. You'd better hope so. Still skin. This should take too long. So Excuse much me. for your shot. Still skin. No, no, no. Oh, that's the wrong button. Still short. Just not quite as quick. But it'll be a downside quicker if you help me. My thoughts exactly. Hey. Okay, I should have. Should have paid attention to the tail. Oh, that's really. Get the wall you've got, boys. You know what to do, boy. Ow. Fire seems to be the way to go with this guy, actually. My wounds 
much more. More wheels, please. Oi. Well, when you're playing defensively, it's great having a dog around. Keep your distance, boy. Not this time. Toggle. Time to heal. My wounds, boy. Fafnir. Gnarled scales? We're right. We're right. Whew. Like I'm gonna dodge it in real life. Stand back. Where were you earlier? Dominant. I am. I. Well, not by choice, mind. Old bloody Rome of strapping young lads. And it was this sorry sack of bones, Rome, who saw fit to home.
I See imagine it. the cigarettes aren't helping. You say you want to help dominance and bearers. But what's in it for you? What's in it for me? The same as for all of us. What we want and deserve. Save for our knack, dominance and bearers are no different from anyone else. The ability to use magic or summon great beasts should command respect, but instead has left us outcasts. Our kind are used and discarded like tools, yet we are men, so why must we die as less? I see. So what you're saying is you want to start a war. <laughs> ah, you flatter me, lad. But my days as a firebrand are long behind me. No, I only wish to offer our kind a choice. A place where we can die on our own terms. Huh? Fair enough. So, I wonder how much of a toll summoning an, summoning an right. icon puts on you. What exactly do you plan on doing when you find this dominant Or is it just because he was already you sick? Think? I'll show him the mercy he showed my brother. And cut out the tongue of any man who tries to talk me out of it. Alright. Forest dark enough as it is. Which way am I supposed to go? That way? Get this first. Alright. Bloody hides. Can I pet him? I can pet him? Come here. Aww. Fetch! Fetch. <laughs> Cute! Oh. Jump on him. Yep. That'll do. Quick enough. I saw something shiny. Where'd it go? Here it is. See that river? We follow her upstream and we'll be in Lost Wing in no time. In no time. Right. Yeah! Yeah! Thirteen. Making good progress. I don't see anything else. Seems fairly linear. Um, but definitely not uninteresting. So much detail on this. Oh, another wyvern. Alrighty then. Oh, that didn't work out exactly the way I wanted it to. Fine. Get him 
everybody. Get them all you've got, boy. Here we go. Keep your distance, boy. Wait. Don't let them get away. Wait. You get into a rhythm of just tapping the down key every now and then. You get a lot of help from the dog. Am I missing anything? It doesn't look like it. Wait. Unless I'm getting ahead of myself. Which is not unlikely. Oh no, this is where we came from. Yeah. Just the other way. Ah, it's her. And? They're just down that way. All of them. Grieger's my witness. Excellent. We move. I, 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 I don't understand. Have I not proven loyal? Ugh. It is true my liege values loyalty above all else. <laughs> but were you not quick to betray your countrymen for the promise of coin? She has a point. Just cause? That woman. Benedicta Harmon, commander of Walud's elite intelligences. If we can capture her. You! Weapons on the ground, Imperials! Based on that shockwave she made, was she. Siren? Maybe? Pandemonium. It seemed like wind. Get the more you've got for it. <laughs> it's over. 
so much bounce. <laughs> Keep your distance, boy. Cinematic clash when the screen flashes orange like this during a pivotal moment in battle repeatedly. Tap square to either press or fend off the attack. Okay. All right. So we fought something really slow, and then we fought something very, very fast. They thought we were Imperial. That was awesome. Well, you do look the part. <laughs> Though you fight like a true shield of Rosaria, and one blessed by the Phoenix at that. 
<laughs> Speaking of which, I wonder, does the other icon of fire give blessings, do you think? You don't believe me. And lo, the Creator did make of the elements eight icons to serve as keepers of the one law. Not that I've ever set too much store by holy doctrine, but on that point, it's clear. Fire has always had just the one warden, as of all the rest. A new one can't be born until the previous dies, and even that can take years. The thing is, you don't strike me as a liar. Which leaves but one person who might be able to shed some light on the matter. And they're in Lost Wing. As are our Waluda friends, I would imagine. We should hurry before it gets dark. But what if someone discovers the bodies? Well, then they'll be sorely disappointed. Not much you can do about that, Clive. They're they're missing as it is. Stage replay and arcade mode are now available in the Hideaways, Arat Stone. Enter the virtual battlescape for details on how on each of the new options. Cool. I wonder if we can farm materials that way. Aura Bell Downs. Well, as much as I would like to continue on, I've already been playing for quite a while, and we've seen some great action. Adding the dog to the combat is a huge difference for me. One, the passive healing while playing defensively, but also when the stagger hits, just hitting down and pressing X at the same time over and over and over again is just a boatload of damage, and I'm loving it. The combat is so clean and reactive and just very tight i don't know much else i can say about it it's just that good anyway if you guys enjoyed the episode thank you for coming by please comment like and subscribe and if you want to see more i'd greatly appreciate any comments below about what game you'd like to see me play have a good morning day evening and good night i'll catch you guys in the next video